Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. So today I am still talking about smelling good all summer long, but I wanted to shift things over to the fellas. I want to show them some love on this channel and I want to talk about my top summer fragrances for the fellas. So whether you are a guy watching this and you are looking for a fragrance that's going to make you stand out of the crowd or ladies, you're looking for a fragrance for your man to make him smell absolutely irresistible. I got some something for you. I will list all of the fragrance down in the description box. And these are from my husband's personal collection. So fragrances that I know smell incredible and I love when he puts them on. If you're a guy, please go ahead and subscribe and join our beautiful family over here. We talk about smelling good, looking good, and feeling good. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. So the first fragrance that I'm going to talk about is this beauty over here. It is a newer launch from Etat Lib d'Orange. Hopefully I'm not butchering the name too much. This is Sous La Ponte Mirabau, and I will link everything down below as well as on the screen, you will see the name of the fragrance. This is a scent that I was actually surprised that I liked so much, not only on my husband, but actually on myself too. This is definitely a unisex fragrance. It is like a breeze, a fresher. It is so light, airy, likable, minimalistic, and so suave. It's a fragrance that's super easy to wear and you don't have to put too much thought into it. It's not a complex fragrance, but there's definitely something in there that makes it stand out. It is a freshy, but a freshy that sets itself apart from any very simple, fresh fragrance. I love the way that this is concoction. It's definitely one of those fragrances that when you wear it, you're not doing the most, but you're definitely going to stand out. There are beautiful like sea-like notes in here that honestly, when I close my eyes and I smell this, it makes me feel like I am near the ocean. There's a bit of a breeze. I can hear the waves. It's that kind of fragrance that would transport you. And again, it's one of those fragrances that is minimalistic. You don't have to think, where am I going to wear this? How am I going to be dressed? It just goes with the vibe. But to me, this is definitely a brunch kind of fragrance. You are wearing linen, light colors, maybe some pastel, and it just goes. It's so beautifully done. And it's one of those freshes that actually lingers really well on the skin. So I don't feel like I have to top this up during the day because it really clings onto my skin really well. And on my husband, it just smells even better than on myself. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, freshy of a fragrance. Perfect for those of you who are in a really hot climate, like right now in Canada, okay, the summer is here and I wish it was here to stay because I love summertime. So this is perfect if you're doing a patio lunch date and it's really warm outside, but you still want to smell good. Spray this on. It's not too overwhelming, not too overbearing. So it's not going to annoy you or anyone else around you. It's just going to smell absolutely divine. The next scent that I have is another very unisex fragrance and one that I've already talked about. It's a fragrance that my husband and I have been wanting in our collection for a really long time. We have smelled samples and finally we have a full-size bottle and we're completely obsessed this is silver mountain water from Creed and honestly Wow, it's one of those beautiful minimalistic fragrances that is just the perfect vibe for summertime. Heat weather, vacation weather, you're gonna be somewhere where the sun is going to hit your skin all day long, but you wanna smell good, you don't want something that's gonna be overbearing. Silver Mountain Water is the way to go. It is a beautiful, fresh kind of citrusy fragrance that still has these green notes in there that give it a little bit more depth. It's it's just beautiful of a fragrance that is not doing the most, but is showing up. I absolutely love this fragrance on my husband and on myself. So ladies and gents, if you want to share fragrances with your partner, honestly, these two are absolutely beautiful because they're both unisex, but they have that clean kind of minimalistic scent profile that is amazing. So don't sleep on new unisex fragrances and fragrances that when you look at the notes, they might scare you. They might seem a little masculine because when I looked up the notes for this one, I definitely didn't see myself loving it until I tried out a sample. And that's why it's so important to step out the box 
and give yourself a chance to smell samples of fragrances, put them on the skin, let them marinate and see if it's for you because you never know, you might really, really enjoy it. And that was the case with this one. I knew on my husband it was gonna smell incredible, but on me, I was kind of on the fence, but now, I love this scent, especially when we are going somewhere during the daytime, something a little bit more casual, and we want something that smells really great. This is the one to go to, and this actually layers beautifully with other fragrances. And fellas, do not be afraid to layer your scents because ladies, we already got that down packed. We layer everything. So I think that the fellas can definitely get two fragrances, three fragrances, layer them and create your own signature scent. So the next fragrance is something that I would definitely recommend more for date nights in the summer, something in the evening time, but you could definitely pull this off during the day. Just go light handed with it because I do find this is quite potent and it is from Fragrance Du Bois. It's Oud Blue Intense. This is such a sophisticated grown fragrance. It has so much complexity, so much character, but it is beautiful. It will literally make you stand out no matter what where you are. It does have this resinous feel, but it's kind of like fresh at the same time and airy. There are a lot of deep notes in this fragrance. There's definitely oud in here, which you will get, but to me, it's not too animalic, but it's definitely there. You will get that oud note on your skin. On my husband, this smells incredible. I love when he wears this during date night. It's a newer bottle. He just recently got this in his collection and it smells absolutely lavish and spectacular. And I can definitely see it lingering. Whenever he walks past a room, the smell just leaves a gorgeous trail. In the opening, you get some mandarin in here. You get a little bit of cardamom. As you trickle down, that's when you get all of those resinous, gorgeous, warm notes. But I feel like the top of this fragrance really stays throughout the entire wear of the scent and keeps it from being too deep and too dark for the summertime. I love the atomizer from these bottles. Oh, it's sophisticated, it's grown, it's sexy. It is just attention grabbing. You can't go wrong with this fragrance if you want to get some attention, no matter where you are. You really wanna leave an impression on someone, get this one. Next fragrance is one that my husband wears more on a regular basis, on a daily basis. You don't have to think about it too much, but it smells really clean, fresh, sophisticated. There's still character to it. It's not the most long lasting fragrance, especially when I compare it to the other scents that I've previously talked about, but it's still a really great fragrance that I think leans very masculine. This is sea sage and sea salt. I personally do not use this one. My husband wears this exclusively on his own and it just smells clean, fresh, light, airy. It does have a little bit of this salty water vibe to it and a greenness to it. To me, again, masculine vibes for sure, but it's very wearable. Again, a fragrance that you don't have to think about too much. You could just wear this during the day, during the evening, and it's going to be a vibe. But keep in mind, this is not the most long lasting. So you can overspray this or take a little decant with you to top it up during the day. But it's a beautiful signature scent because it's one that you can wear every day, whether you're going to the office or you are going for a lunch date. And it still really stays with the vibe and the attire and the occasion. It's a beautiful scent from Jo Malone. I do have other ones that I really love love from them, but this is like a great everyday kind of scent. Like if you don't know which scent to get your husband and you just want something that is safe, I think this is quite safe. Now, if you're a guy or ladies, you like a fragrance on a man that smells a little on the sweeter side, but you don't want it to be too feminine, I absolutely adore this one that I'm gonna talk about. I feel like it doesn't get enough love, but I think when my husband wears this, it just blows my mind by how good he smells. And he has gotten a ton of compliments wearing this particular fragrance. And this one is Umo Born in Roma Coral Fantasy from Valentino. It is a gorgeous scent. Like seriously, do not sleep on the range of Umo. I know that Donna Born in Roma and the entire flanker is super popular, but the men's side is just as 
gorgeous as the women's side. And this is the one that I personally love on my husband. This is a fragrance that he can wear both day and night and it just smells so good. It has this kind of like sensual vibe to it. And I think Coral Fantasy fits perfectly in the summertime. It's aromatic, but it is also fruity floral sweet. It has a little bit of warmth in the dry down, a little bit of this woody tone it's such a stunning fragrance to me this is definitely unisex like I could pull this off but on him because you are used to smelling men and okay because you're used to smelling men's fragrances and they're usually very aquatic or woody or they have that lavender note this has a touch of sweetness that kind of throws you off but smells absolutely divine on a guy so do not be scared of any fragrance that has a little bit of sweetness to it because it just adds this kind of like alluring sexy touch to a male's fragrance and i think this just exudes confidence and smells absolutely incredible. Guys, those are my top five go-to fragrances for my husband for the summertime. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and saw something new and cool today. Definitely leave your comments down below. Let me know if you like these kind of videos, if you want to see more fragrances focused on our fellas. I will leave everything down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and share, and I will see you all on the next video. Ciao!